Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about some of my favorite multi-purpose, multi-use products. If you are someone who is kind of going into more of a skin minimalist direction, um, if it's something that really appeals to you, and if you want products that you can add as a part of your skincare routine that solve more than one uses, then I do think that this is a video where you will find a lot of great recommendations. I mostly have skincare products with the occasional like there is one product which i feel like is kind of an exception to skincare but i still wanted to mention that so yeah that's why i have a bunch of things to talk to you about today i also want to let you know that there's nothing new in this video no product in this video is one that i've never spoken about in fact most of these products i've spoken about in a bunch of other videos um so it might be really repetitive to some of you but i still wanted um one video where you can come and one video where i can refer you to where there are a bunch of products that I can recommend which solve more than one uses so um yeah this is more of like a guide a go-to video and it's not something new so that disclaimer I do want to give before we get started but yeah now let's get started the first product that I have is obviously a cleanser by the way I'll kind of try to um go in and order where it kind of makes sense as a part of a skincare routine so the first product that i have is a cleansing product and this is one that is a makeup remover and a face wash two in one if you use this one product as a part of your nighttime skincare routine I don't think you need a separate makeup remover and a separate face wash because this does the job of both. I've mentioned it a couple of times, it's the Kiko Milano Pure Clean Micellar Gel. Uh, this removes all of your makeup including eyeliner or liquid lipstick. I feel like it will not remove liquid lipstick completely. You might have to just go in with some Vaseline or some, you know, oil based gel. Just a little bit, just to rub a little bit more extra but apart from that face makeup eye makeup this will remove very well and um, unlike other cleansing balms where you need to use a face wash to like cleanse the cleansing balm itself this one will remove your makeup and also will wash off and emulsify completely and will leave you with a clean face where you can directly uh, go in with your next product like your treatment products or your moisturizer or whatever you tend to use so this will do the double cleansing for you and instead of using two separate products you can just use this and you'll be good to go so that was my cleansing product moving on next i have another um face wash which i think is great and this one is the body shop tea tree uh skin clearing facial wash now the reason why i wanted to mention this it's kind of I don't think I can compare these two but in a way I would say this one is superior to this but I still feel like this also has a place um, in a skincare routine in general because if this is something that you know doesn't appeal to you or maybe um, like this I would say because it's more of a gel kind of a product it might not be suitable for people who have super dry skin I don't think it is bad but if your skin is like super duper dry you might not want to use this so I feel like this is multi-use in the sense that it won't solve uh, two um, steps with one product but this is more so a product that if you want to have less number of um, skincare products in your skincare collection i think this is one that you should have because this is obviously a regular face wash but it's also a great double cleanse face wash now the reason why i say this is a great double cleanse face wash is because um there are other face washes that i've tried to use as my second step in the double cleanse but i still feel like i need a third cleanse like a cleansing balm with xyz face wash is not enough um and i still need to go in with a micellar water and i need to go in with a different face wash but with this particular product i feel like it does the double cleanse so well that um i don't need to go in with a triple cleanse i don't need need to even check if i have any makeup residue left or not i know for a fact i can guarantee that if you're using this as your double cleanse then you will not have any makeup residue left um and that's the reason why i wanted to mention this as a dub like as a multi-use product because i feel like you can use this as your morning cleanser as well as your nighttime cleanser so you don't need to have a bunch of different cleansers in your collection um this one is great for morning and night if you just want to cut down those steps and have less number of products in your skincare routine so for that reason i really love it it's also one that i've gifted to a lot of people in my personal life as well because i just think it's a great 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 product and i feel like a lot of people in my family also have oily skin and we have like similar skin types we have acne prone skin as well all of us like in the family and stuff so yeah that's why i've also gifted this to a lot of my relatives and like people in my family and stuff 
anyways i feel like i was talking for face washes for a while there so now let's move on to some uh, serums now i feel like for the most part when it comes to treatment products and serums and stuff like that most of them are um, you know more so targeted and specific to one active like there's a vitamin c serum or there's a niacinamide serum or there's an aha serum there's a bha serum so that's why i feel like none of them are multi purpose but i have a few that i've used and these are ones that i've personally experienced um so that's why i can recommend them otherwise i feel like there are a ton of brands which i've not used ever like there is the deconstruct skin care which has a bunch of serums and those have multiple actives so those would be great products to recommend in this video but because i haven't used any of them myself for that reason i can't really recommend them but there are a few that i've used personally which i want to talk about the first one is one that i recently spoke about in uh, another video and that is uh, yeah that was my uh, best and worst vitamin c serums video which i don't know if it, that one's going to go up before this or after this but i spoke about this product in that video and it's the want skin care multi vitamin super hydrator i used it up a while back i haven't repurchased it for some reasons which i mentioned in that video but i do want to say that that is a great product if you want a serum that has vitamin c and niacinamide personally i would not repurchase it myself so even though i'm recommending that product um i'm not saying that you should definitely go and check it out because i don't really agree with some things that the brand has you know done when it comes to that particular product's marketing so for that reason i personally wouldn't repurchase it and i do have my eye on some products that have vitamin c and niacinamide in them um so when i try them out i will probably be able to give you alternatives but as of now if you are looking for a vitamin c and niacinamide and maybe you don't care about the uh, you know the not unethical but like whatever i don't agree with when it comes to that particular one product if you don't have a problem with it then maybe you could get it just just mentioning it out there but that is a serum that i do think has two actives in one so if you want the benefits of vitamin c and you want the benefits of niacinamide then maybe you could check that out um i do have a one more uh, product and this is a single active ingredient product but i think that the active itself does multiple things so um i'm not particularly recommending this product but i'm just recommending azelaic acid in general as an ingredient i feel like um i've you know read a lot about the benefits of azelaic acid where it does surface level exfoliation but then it also is like a cousin to niacinamide because it like refines your pores and stuff it also does a lot of deep pore cleansing action like salicylic acid so i feel like this ingredient is one that does a lot of great things and if you are able to find a really good azelaic acid product i would recommend that you try and check it out to be very very honest i don't have one azelaic acid that i can recommend like one azelaic acid product that i can recommend as of now so um i'm just like the dermatector one that i have here is like a um what do you say i want to symbolize azelaic acid but i'm not particularly recommending this product uh, but i will hopefully at um, some point if i find a really good azelaic acid product i will definitely recommend it so stay tuned for that um Moving on next I have another um serum treatment products is the last one and then we'll move on to moisturizers and I have quite a few moisturizers uh but the treatment um product or like the serum that I want to mention is this one right here by Trigone I've spoken about this for years and again I have mentioned that this is one that I have outgrown but I feel like if you are a beginner who's really overwhelmed and you don't know if you should go for an AHA or a BHA or like how about like how to go about with exfoliation then I would recommend this because I feel like it does a good job at helping with your skin texture it also helps like if you I mean I don't know if I would say that I would recommend this for acne prone skin like if you have a lot of pimples and breakouts I don't think this will help with that but it does have salicylic acid so if you want something that will just prevent breakouts for you in general then I think the salicylic acid in this should help with that so I feel like if you're someone who's super overwhelmed and you don't know how to start when it comes to chemical exfoliation and you just want one product that will possibly help you with every single thing when it comes to uh chemical exfoliation in general then i would recommend this anyways moving on next um the next four products i would say out of which three are active based moisturizers and i think active based moisturizers can be amazing when it comes to um you know um using multiple products because honestly if you think about it if you have a routine where you have a face wash like this okay 
like just this for morning and night is what i'm talking about and then you have an active base moisturizer that's all you need and maybe in the morning you need a sunscreen as well but that's about it you you basically will not need anything else so that's why i feel like active base moisturizers are great um some of my favorite active base moisturizers are these two from um author them the phyto fuse obviously you know i absolutely freakingly love uh, of course this has niacinamide and bioretinol as well the bioretinol i don't know if i've seen absolutely amazing results because of that or maybe it's just the combination of all the ingredients in this but it's a great morning time moisturizer it's also a great night time moisturizer and specifically when i use this in the night time and i wake up the next morning my skin looks so beautiful and refined and like i don't notice any texture i notice my complexion is glowing i feel like this product on its own does so many amazing things for me and it can be used in so many different like again it can be used in the morning it can be used at night i feel like it's also versatile like that so if you have a moisturizer like this which can be used morning and night i feel like you don't really need to have a ton of moisturizers in your collection even though i do so i'm not speaking for myself but i'm saying if you again are someone who doesn't want to have a lot of skincare products in your collection in your skincare collection then this is one of the products that you should be having because then you won't need to have multiple ones and this will um, work in your routine in different ways in different times um the phyto repair i would personally say is not the best for my skin type i have more normal combination to oily if you leave lean more normal combination dry i feel like you will like this i feel like even i might like this in the winters i don't know i'm going to have to wait for the winters to use it but this one has um vitamin c metrixil 3000 which is a peptide and obviously it's a moisturizer so if you just want to have a product that obviously should be working for your skin type so do keep that in mind but if it works for your skin type and you just want a product with good ingredients and you're just going to trust the process and hope that it's going to give you long term benefits if you use it consistently i feel like then i would you know recommend that you go for this i feel like if you're looking for vitamin c for the brightening benefits you probably won't see that here but if you're looking for the antioxidant benefits and the long term anti aging benefits then i think that this is something that you can definitely go for because you won't see instant results obviously because, but you will see long term consistent results 10 20 years down the line maybe so yeah that's that uh moving on next we have two more moisturizers another um I would say moisturizer but again if I'm you know traveling and I really want to have a simple uh, routine um I would say that this is a great active base moisturizer as well and that is the plum green tea renew clarity night gel now um, honestly back when I had first discovered it I thought that um the great benefits that I was seeing from this was because of the green tea but later on when I discovered more about ingredients when I read the ingredient list really well that's when I realized that this has i believe of course it has biloba extract but i think this also has glycolic acid i want to say this has glycolic acid yes it does it has glycolic acid it has biloba extract it has a bunch of great things of course this has fragrance as well which i'm not the biggest fan of but i feel like the glycolic and the lac uh, not lactic the glycolic and the salicylic acid combination is what really helps with the pimples and of course it's a moisturizer so i mean if you just want to wash your face like remove all your makeup put on a moisturizer that also has actives in it and then just go to bed then i think this is the perfect moisturizer to have again i've mentioned that it's a great travel friendly product as well travel friendly not in the sense of the size but in the sense that if you're carrying this you won't have to carry a bunch of other things so um yeah for that reason i think this is a great again multi purpose product and that is that um my last moisturizer um that i'm going to talk about is also by plum and this one is my day time pick and the reason why i'm mentioning this in the multi purpose products video is because i feel like there aren't a bunch of moisturizer plus sunscreen combinations that i found so like i'm talking about really amazing sunscreens that also work as moisturizers or a uh, great moisturizers that have a good enough like spf rating but this one does have a i would say decently well like above average spf rating because it's got spf 30 and this one is the plum grape seed and sea buckthorn light stay day cream so it is a moisturizer but it has spf 30 in it so i feel like if you use the amount that you would typically use of an spf if you use that much moisturizer with this particular product you will get a good enough, good enough spf and it will obviously work as a moisturizer as well so again 
you can skip a couple of steps and this is one that is not personally something that i use all the time but it's one that i would recommend to someone who doesn't really care about actives like my mother so i can tell you from personal experience she is not really the biggest person when it comes to actives but um, i'm trying to get her uh, to like at this point i feel like i've almost succeeded uh but i'm trying to get her into using spf regularly and using skincare regularly so this is a product that i gave her and i told her that you know what i know you don't have a lot of time in the morning because she's a working mother as well or oh, working woman sorry uh, apart from being my mother she's a working woman and uh, she is someone that doesn't have a lot of time in the morning to do her skincare so all i tell her to do is is wash her face when she's in the shower obviously and then when she comes out just put on this product even though you don't have time to do anything else it's totally fine just do this and leave the house but at least do this so um yeah that's what um i have been getting her into and at this point she's been doing really well i gave her a tube of this that i have that she's almost out of so i'll probably give her this also she'll finish it up and then we have one more backup tube and i can tell you that all the stock of this product that i have in my house is going to be finished by her and it is someone uh, it is a great product for someone like my mother who does not have a lot of time to do her skin care routine but um, spf is still very very important so yeah that's that's what i would personally recommend this particular product for um those were all the skin care products and again like i mentioned in the beginning there is one product which is kind of skin care not really really um so i think you can put it in whatever category you want but that is a uh, tinted lip balm now the one that i wanted to specifically mention to you is this one right here this is a maybelline baby lips uh, lip balm but this is the one that was the collaboration with alia bhatt the limited edition i'm not really sure if it's still available or not and i don't know what the name no i i know what the name is the name is highline wine this one is like a gro- like a glossy red lipstick honestly like i wish i could have this on today i have a regular bullet lipstick on today but if i could show you how pigmented this lip balm is like on your lips it literally looks like you've put on a glossy red lipstick so i feel like it is i would say the reason why i'm putting this like in the multi purpose products video is because it's a lip balm it's going to be moisturizing ish it's not going to be the most moisturizing and if you have super chapped lips then don't take my word for it because i don't really have dry chapped lips so i can't tell you you know how helpful that would be but it is moisturizing at the same time it has a lot of color so if you're someone who's like a no makeup makeup person but you still want to have a just a little bit of color on your lips don't care about the rest of your makeup don't care about your face don't care about your eyes you just want a little bit of color on your lips but you still want your lips to be moisturized this would be the product and i want to compare it to the nivea uh, lip balms because i feel like most people have tried the nivea lip balms i have the pomo was this pomegranate yeah i think this was pro- no this was blackberry shine i'm sorry this one that i have is the blackberry shine one and if you've used this this is the most pigmented of the nivea lip balms and i feel like it's got medium pigmentation this one is even more pigmented so this is literally a glossy red lipstick in a lip balm container so yeah those are all the products that i have that i feel like would be a great multi purpose products because they serve multiple purposes for you i don't really know how helpful or useful this video was so if it was please let me down below please let me know down below even if it wasn't you can still let me know down below i don't um you know i won't take offense if your opinion is um negative as well but it would truly be very very helpful if you share your feedback down below be it positive be it negative please 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 share it down below and let me know if i should do more videos like these let me know if i should not do any more videos like these ever uh and let me know what more videos you would like to see um i feel like i want to just slow down a little bit like I will not stop ever uh, trying out new products but I really want to um, slow down a little bit and be very mindful about what products I add into my skincare collection into my life and what products I just use in general and what products I try and test out so you might see that slowing down a little bit and I'm really kind of figuring and experimenting what I want my channel to look like in the next Six months to a year or so. So um, yeah, if you have any feedback, please, please, please leave that down below. But yeah, now the video is getting long, so it's time to cut it right here. Thank you so, so, so much for watching, you guys. Until next time, bye, bye, bye.